For this episode, we learn how to use the built-in camera and lighting systems inside After Effects. Don't forget to subscribe and ring the bell for notifications to get updates with the latest episodes. Okay, let's begin! Create a new 16x9 composition. Set it to 15 seconds and 30 frames per second. Right click and hover to new and select solid. These settings are good for now. Hmm, let's run it to 01 instead. Turn motion blur and toggle the 3D layer mode. Now, when you bring up its rotation controls, it is now divided to X, Y, and Z. Same goes for the position attribute. You now got the Z axis. Now bring it up together, press Shift R and Shift P. Let's try adjusting one of the values here. Our layer now rotates in 3D space through Z axis. Same goes for the Y and other axis. Now let's reset the layer and hit Command Z. Let's give the Z axis a value of 90 degrees. Let's move it down by doing a click and drag on the green arrow or the Y axis. We now have some sort of ground plane. Apply a grid effect on this layer. Let's change our start value to width slider. Adjust it to your liking. Let's scale up our layer. Be sure to uncheck length attributes. Then start scaling on both X and Y axis. Stretch it as far as you can. Change the border thickness to 1. Now let's create a camera. Head on to layer, new, and select camera. Be sure that your depth of field is sticked on. You can also change the type of your camera through presets. We'll use a 50mm for now. Toggle the expand button on our camera layer. Expand camera options. You can adjust your camera settings here like aperture, blur level and more. Now, let's import the PNG or JPEG layer and convert it to a 3D layer. Let's choose this EXR file from one of my 3D projects. Drag it to your layers panel. Toggle both motion blur and 3D layer mode. Let's duplicate the layer and adjust its Z-axis position. Move it along the X-axis until it's placed properly in our scene. We can also move the other layer to properly frame them. Head onto the camera controls, hold and click to show different camera modes. You can also change the type of camera movement by pressing C on your keyboard. Change this to Unified Camera Tool and drag it around. Amazing, isn't it? You can add more images or layers in 3D space if you like to. Change your camera to track the Z tool or the dolly move. Imagine if you have a planetary background placed in 3D space. This would be epic. Let's animate our camera's position. Expand the transform controls and animate it as you like. But for flexibility, we'll use a null and parent our camera to it. Create a null layer. Convert the null to a 3D layer. Parent the camera to our null layer. Now, we can animate through our null and leave the focus animation and the like to our camera layer. Now, let me adjust it to my liking and we're good. Keyframe the position attribute. Move a few seconds and adjust the value. Of course, we gotta tweak our animations all the time. Let's preview our progress. Now, let's create lights. Go to Layer, New, and click Light. There are many types of lights. We'll go for Spotlight for now. Notice the other spaceship behind disappears because the light rays can't reach that far behind. Play with the position along the axis. See how our 3D layer interacts with the light source. We can go to top view and see our layers in 3D space. Let's duplicate the light source and move it near the spaceship behind. And we're going to lit it up. Press the H key to pan around the workspace. Now let's go back to our active camera to see the effect. Click on fit to workspace. It seems we're still a bit far from our layer that's why it's still pitch black.
adjust it even more until we're satisfied with the output. This should be good. Return to the active camera and fit workspace screen. Our background ship is now visible. Let's find a good grammatic animation by doing a test. Okay, that kind of animation looks good. Key the light source position. You'll notice that it doesn't really move but just change the angle while pointing at its target. To fix this, remove all animation on this layer. We'll apply the animation instead on another layer and parent the light source to it. Don't forget to toggle the 3D layer mode on our null, then start parenting it. We can now adjust the position of our light source. Let's place a keyframe and animate it. Now, it behaves like what we expected. Start adjusting keyframes and polishing it. We now have a dramatic intro scene for our spaceship. Well done! To add up to your learnings, here is the bonds content for this episode. I'm going to teach you anchor points. So, create your shape layer. Let's change this now to a field shape. This target in the middle is your anchor point. Make sure snapping is on. Press Y on your keyboard to activate the anchor point move tool. Place it on the bottom. Anchor point basically is a point of origin for movements and adjustments. You can also move anchor points by pressing A on your keyboard. Let's try rotating the shape. Try experimenting with its placements. You can also do it to any type of layer. Let's try it on a solid. Let's make a square solid. Adjust its anchor point, and there you go. I hope you've learned something from this episode. Hey, if you like this video of Under Ideas by Kent Marco, support us on Patreon slash Kent Mark triple O.